Okay, so let me show you the card set. So I put them in this beautiful box, uh, which I altered. So we'll start with the him or his cards. Okay, and put this one here. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so this is the first uh, card. I use, I made it as a shaker card and I use this a set by Altenew called um, uh, Elton riding uh, by and it has a stamp and the coordinating dies so I stamp the bicycle in the background then I stamp the bear die cut it and I made this uh, shaker card you know this trendy shaker card thing called edge to edge shaker cards really easy uh, I mean easy to assemble and uh, the sequence that I used these sequence from Hobby Lobby. Oops. Okay, these two colors. Okay. Then next card again, same stamp set, but I change a little bit the layout. Uh, the thing is, do you want that a cohesive that um, a cohesive for for your cards? So mainly was using this stamp set and also playing with the color uh, scheme. So I use. Uh, this product called Glitz Glitter Gel by Gina K. And I used this stencil by Altenew and this one called Sketch Line Stencil. So I had it only in the bottom. Then I um, foam mounted the bear and the bicycle and I stamped a sentiment called Tomorrow Better. Let me show you from which set. Yeah, from this <laughs> mega greeting number four. I wish that I bought the die, but Okay, so tomorrow, uh, yeah, from here, tomorrow um, is better. I said tomorrow is best. <laughs> okay, uh, the third card, this one. So I have my base card, then I have this panel, then another smaller panel, but I die cut using scallop rectangle, then added, you know, full stencil using, again, the same product, um, Gliss Glitter Gel then my bear and my sentiment tomorrow is better, okay? The, th no, the fourth, last one, so the thing is to create four cards, it, definitely you can create more, they choose four cards. So here I die cut um, uh, my panel and cut it into the half, then the other half I just added, um, use the stencil and the glitz, and I added some uh, gemstone to the bicycle, so cute. Okay, now let's see hers um, card. So this is the first one. I use a pattern paper as my panel. It's this pattern paper by Altenew. It's my first time to use their paper. It's really nice and it's a different quality. It's a good quality and it's different than your regular paper. And this one called uh, Pastel Dreams Paper Pack. Okay. Then I add some gemstone. Uh, then I stamped this image. Uh, using this uh, stamp set called Forever in Love with a green, uh, just just black, what is the color? Just, yeah, jet black, sorry, just black. <laughs> jet uh, black, then I used, um, I did some stencil, I'm not sure if it will be shown or not, just a clear paste, yeah, just to add some shine then some splatter of gold watercolors, okay? The second card, my panel, uh, okay, focus please. My panel is from this watercolor coloring book. Uh, let me see if I have it. Oh, yes, it's, yeah, it's this one. But this one has like no line. This is for no line watercolor. Anyway, then I used uh, Distress Oxide, you know, to color all my background. Then when it dries, I used the same stencil, this one, with a iridescent paste. Then added uh, gemstone. Okay. Third 
favorite card this one again the background I used uh, the backgrounds from this paper pack uh, then I heat impose it using the same image this one from forever in love and I use uh, you know just white impulsing powder then I stamp the word hope never lose uh, using the greeting mega greeting for on a vellum paper then and fussy cut it I wish that's why I said I wish that I have the die <laughs> then the final touch just add some gemstones last but not least this beautiful card I really love this one uh, so again the background or the pattern paper from the paper pack by Altenew then I heat impose this uh, uh, this stamp okay this stamp is uh, called beautiful day and I have the stamp and the die you see the sparkle and just to add some interest, I just, you know, separated <laughs> these two uh, just to show more white space. Then I added some uh, gemstone. Yeah. So I hope I can pass <laughs> after all these cards. I really had so much fun creating all of them. Um, yeah. So I'm going to link... Uh, the Altenew Academy and all and all the information in the description box in case if you want to check them out yeah so thank you so much for watching and maybe I can insert some pictures or you can check also my uh, blog for all the cards that I made for a uh, level one so yeah thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it I'll see you next time bye